I'm Sarah. I'm Lucinda. And welcome back to another color class. And in today's class, we are talking frequently asked questions. And one question we hear a lot is, what does it mean to be bathed in the same light? We say that term a lot with color we analysis. Do. And we say to look color harmonious. And when we're talking things like that, we say we want everything to just be bathed in the same light. But what does that actually mean? Well, the history of that saying, um, I was in painting class in college. And my professor, I'm working on this painting diligently. And he said, you know what? You want everything in your painting to be bathed in the same light. You want to add a little bit of one color to everything on the palette so that it looks like either it's in sunshine mm -hmm. or it's a night scene. Uh, you might add a little blue for the night scene. You might add a little yellow ochre for the sunshine. And even if you're doing a portrait, it's still really good to have everything bathed in the same light. So you are a masterpiece. So you want to frame yourself so that you look like you're all bathed in the same light, so that everything flows. Because if something doesn't flow, let's say that you're a summer and you put on a winter red, the winter red will grab all the attention from you and it, it will arrive in the room before you do. Or let's say that you're a spring and you outfit yourself in uh, a summer palette. You're gonna look like you're not, uh, your colors aren't right. So. I'm going to tell you a little bit about color theory and give you a little information and then we're going to go on a journey. So the information that I want to share with you is in this chart here and it's basically a pie shape of the color red, but it, 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 I'm going to give you definitions. The top one being hue. Hue means any color. You know, if you pick a color to paint your walls with, that color is a hue. It's still a hue. Um, a tint is that color with white added into it um, so that it is lighter and fainter and more delicate. A tone is that same color with black or brown added into it so that it's a deeper tone. And then a shade is a deeper tone still. And the reason I'm telling you all this is because this is the way that you make sure that you're always bathed in the same light by dressing in your palette and your palette if you take a look at your palette we have a chart here of palettes and you'll notice that each one of the palettes has its own identity um, the spring looks like it's sitting in sunshine the autumn looks like it's being lit in like an autumn day the summer looks like it's like a win wintry field and the winter looks like um, christmas lights so each one of these has their own kind of vibe. And because of that, I thought that I would show you some masterpieces, just like you, um, throughout history that are seasonally kind of bathed in certain lights. The one on the left being a Mondrian, and that's our winter kind of vibe because you winters are absolutely your primary your um you know you can wear the red you can wear the black you can wear the white you can wear the yellow so mondrian was famous for these kinds of paintings and that would be like a winter scarf and it would look fantastic on you so you have mondrian to thank for that mm -hmm. on the right side we still have the brightness but this is a kind of a spring vibe uh, there, it, there are some, it, just a few little pinks that maybe wouldn't be in the spring palette, but yet everything still looks like it's bathed in the same light because it has the same level of brightness and it casts a little bit warm. In the bottom, oh, and that is um, a Manet. And then in the bottom left-hand side is one of my favorite paintings on earth. And this one is a Monet. And it is summer, and one of the, the characteristics of these Impressionist paintings, or uh, Impressionist painters, was that they always tried to get an atmospheric quality to their paintings. And here, um, this was painted uh, on, on a, in a winter field, snow, um, and it has this hazy quality that we always talk about when we talk about summers. But what's fun about this particular setting is that he did it also in the middle of autumn and look what happened to his palette 
it looks like it's bathed in the same light. He captures the atmospheric quality, but this is now what I would say is an autumn palette. So we go from the winter palette to the spring palette to the summer palette to the autumn palette in these masterpieces. And what I'm hoping that you're getting out of this after seeing uh, the, the seasonal pinwheels is that we want to make sure that you are of a piece when you go out and you're dressed, that you're bathed in the same light. I hope this answered your question. If it didn't, um, please give us some information in the comments down below. We take questions. We love hearing from you and um, we'll, we'll, en we'll engage and we will talk to you and answer your questions. Absolutely. So don't forget to like and subscribe. We are a new YouTube channel trying to build a color analysis community with you. So we'd love to join, have you join us here. And we have met some amazing people already who are subscribers. And we've gotten into some wonderful conversations. So please like, because I love it when you like, and subscribe because we want to let you know what topics we're doing regularly. And if they appeal to you, come join us, talk mm -hmm. to us. Lastly, I'm Sarah. I'm Lucinda. I hope you enjoyed this color class and we'll see you in the next video.